today we're going to go over how to edit the call to action web part. All right, first we're going to edit the page. What we're going to do here, we're going to go to the call to action web part. We're going to hit edit web part, which is the pencil icon up here. You can also delete the web part. You can duplicate it if you like it as well and make the changes, which we can show right here, the edit web part. All right, so the button, the label that you see right there, this is where you adjust and make the changes. So let's say click here to view and or just say click here that way it just shows and then the button link this is where you drop the link and we'll just drop a URL uh, let's just grab this right here drop it in there and to make the changes where it says stuff like all things travels right there travel right there you actually just type that in if you wanted to right there that being said you make the changes, you hit republish, and when you click, it will take you exactly where you want to. And that's how you edit the call to action web part.